My brother, sister-in-law, and I did a section of the Connecticut River in New Hampshire from mile 188 to 220. It's about 32 to 34 miles in length. It was an overnight trip. We put in just north of Hanover, New Hampshire, and pulled out in Claremont, New Hampshire. It was a great paddle. The start of any one-way trip always requires placing cars at both locations, and that took us quite a few hours to do this morning. The three of us took off from Wilson's Landing in a Winona, Minnesota 2 tandem in a swift Osprey solo canoe. Our plan for the morning was to paddle the seven miles down to Wilder Dam for our first portage and grab a little lunch. This is the Wilder Dam Portage. 6.6 .6 miles from where we started along the Connecticut River. Yeah, so I think it's uh, 400 meters. Not too bad. If you enjoy this kind of content, canoeing, cycling, hiking, New England in general, please subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more like this coming. As we approached the I-89 overpass between New Hampshire and Vermont, we saw these cool piers that were being built underneath. They're building a temporary bridge between the states over the Connecticut River while they rebuild the northbound and the southbound lanes. It was a pretty cool view from underneath. That was fun. <laughs> Got 8.5 miles an hour on my watch. Nice. <laughs> well, I don't know how I we made it to Burnham Island. How many miles was it? 14. It is spectacular. We have the sandbar all to ourselves. Beth is setting up the tent. I have to find two trees. That are spaced the right distance apart. We have got a place for a fire. We saw some firewood in the woods. We saw lots of bald eagles. Oh, we saw lots of bald eagles. 
Man, this is the life. There we go. Oh yeah. Is it boiling yet? Look at that. It's gotta be. <laughs> Woo! So we have this going. And then over here, we got And then we have going. like we got boiling. Jet boil Ooh. going. <laughs> oh yeah, that. baby. <laughs> it's boiling. That took no time. Oh my We're gonna goodness. simmer this. Have some good soup. Woo! I think I put it out. I put it out? Yeah, I did. Oh, if it was sticks, it'd still be on. <laughs> it was a cold night. Oh, time. It was cold. 30 degrees. I don't think my hammock setup is set up at 30 degrees. But take a look at this. Whoa. We've got bacon cooking water being sterilized I'm not getting any here. another successful use of the stick stove yeah and this is kind of cool we're checking out these animal tracks in the sand and it looks like uh, looks like a couple of beavers came up to visit. They came up. I see one looks like a big one went off to the right, and then another one went off to the left. Looks like a small one. Yeah, very cool. So today, day two, we go down to I think Avery's Landing in Claremont. And that's about a, uh, I think a 15 to 17 mile uh, paddle. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's supposed to be in the 50s, partly sunny. Not bad for the end of October in New England. Day two, let the adventure begin. The, the rapids is right to our left and we just, yeah, we just, we'll take a look. You can like walk up to that road. We might be able to go across these rocks. We are at Sumner Falls. It was a quick paddle down. We were going about five miles an hour. Seems like the dam at Wilder, uh, Wilder Dam must be, must be open. I saw up ahead a couple of uh, like four boats. Not sure if they were rafts or, or uh, whitewater canoes. So I'm wondering if the dam is opened specifically this Saturday morning for running these rapids. Hey, that's nice the job, old man. Man. 
man. man. Old man. How you doing? Hi. Good morning. We headed another six miles downstream from Sumner Falls to the Windsor Covered Bridge. At 460 feet across, this is the longest covered bridge in America. Three previous bridges stood at this site, all of which were destroyed by floods. And we are fortunate enough to catch the 1156 Amtrak train from St. Albans to Washington, D.C. as it crossed over the Connecticut. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's been a perfect weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, just a perfectly blue skies. Yeah, river moving quickly. It's been great. Good company. Mm. You just can't get over the weather we've had this weekend. It's the end of October, and the New Hampshire Vermont border. It's been sunny warm during the day night was cold it was 30 degrees last night that was a little pushing the limits of my hammock setup but boy just so lucky to get this one extra weekend because who knows what it's going to be like next weekend usually don't get to paddle this late in the season certainly don't get to uh camp and, and canoe it has been a great trip 30 some odd miles on the connecticut river from Hanover down to Claremont. We're really lucky to live here. I was originally planning on doing this by myself. I reached out to my brother and my sister-in-law and they were free this weekend. So they took the Winona and uh, it's been great. It's been nice having some company as opposed to going, going alone.
<laughs> oh my god. What? This is really scary looking. What are you doing? <laughs> you can just see my head. And it's just all black behind me. <laughs>